You came in with the intention. Debbie, would you please? Uh, of shut, you came in with I the intention. I did certainly of no such thing. Down and don't make such a charge against Jan, the chair. Jan Cordy, your role is not to protect no, the don't, minister you don't, and silence this And it's not your role to make a all. charge against the chair, your which is totally and utterly untrue. Right now resume of members your seat, and I call on Deputy Wallace. And Thank we, you. Yeah, would you have a right now at the moment to speak to the amendment before you, which is the amendment in relation to the setting up of a public forum? Excuse me, Deputy. I'd ask you to withdraw that remark, please. I'd ask you to withdraw that remark. Please withdraw that remark. Please, re re please withdraw that remark. You are totally out of order. Totally out of order. Resume your seat, please. Deputy Wallace, thank you. If you want to speak to the amendment, I, you can do so. If you don't, I'm calling Deputy Wallace. I'm not taking a lecture off you, thank you. Deputy Wallace, thank you. Deputy Wallace, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am not denying anybody. I am asking people to adhere to the rules of the House and speak to the section. Deputy Wallace. Deputy, if you don't, if you don't resume your seat, I'll have to ask you to leave the House. Thank you. Down, would, would you please leave the House then if you are not prepared to adhere to the rules of the House? You cannot, you cannot, obstruct, the, you cannot obstruct the proceedings of the House. Would you please resume your seat? Would you please resume your seat? I'm asking you again, would you please resume your seat? This is a charade. Will, will you please resume your seat? You're entitled to speak to the amendment and nothing else. Thank you. Please resume your seat. Now, you're really tempting me. Please resume your seat. If you wish to get yourself thrown out, leave gracefully and don't have to have a vote on it. So please make up your mind now, Deputy. Please make up your mind. Do you wish to get yourself thrown out? If you do, do it gracefully. But don't call the House into this repute. Okay, I'm afraid, Deputy. I'm afraid, Deputy. Thank you. Deputy Wallace, thank you. Deputy Wallace, thank you. Thank you, Deputy. Deputy Wallace, please, will you stop obstructing the proceedings of the House, please, and show some respect. You're a senior Deputy. Don't be making a, a show of yourself, please. Deputy Wallace, thank you. I'm not, I reject very much your allegations of a, a charade. I've allowed every deputy who wishes to speak to an amendment to do so, and I haven't interfered or interrupted with them. Now, if you, if you know your business, you speak to... Now, deputy, I'm really, you're really testing my, my nerve here. Now, please, I'll have, to, I'll have to put your expulsion to the House if you're not careful. The Minister is on very shaky ground. All right. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I've no option. I'm afraid I've no option. I named Deputy Catherine Shortall and I move that she be suspended from the service of the House. Please leave the House, Deputy. Vote up.